Here we are at Gardenville and we're at the end of April and isn't it nice to be out in the garden where it's not raining, it's really nice and we're looking at a geranium. Yep. Now, Susan told me, like, you know, I'm having difficulty remembering the name of this particular geranium. And we were sort of, Susan, what's wrong with you? And you said, how many varieties? Well, I bought a book about 10 years ago more, which had 242 <laughs> varieties so. in it. And now they've bred more, so I've been excused not remembering I think which this one is. Absolutely. This is lovely, though, isn't it? For this it's little li colour, a white in... April. April. It's early. It's just starting. There are plenty more buds here. Yeah. And the thing about most perennial geraniums is they're virtually trouble free. Yeah. They just get on with it. And I love them. I have a, quite a collection, but this one obviously isn't amongst them or I could give you the name. Yeah. And there are more to come through here behind us. Right. Okay. There's um, two, two different varieties here. Right. Uh, this will be pink, I suspect, and this one behind me blue. Right. Uh, and this one is white. So they're mostly in shades of varying shades of blue, varying shades of pink from a deep magenta, and then um, there are whites. Just with different sort of different flowering. Different size sort of flowers, of, yeah. different times of flowering from this I very love early this one. Susan now in my garden. I, I think there's a country garden feel yeah, about this. Yeah, that's the thing, but they are very much that sort of country garden feel of Aren't perennial they? geraniums. And you could and just clip them. Do you know what I mean? Bring them in and put them in a little sort of I'm area. I'm not Which, sure how well they last. I've not, they never not? had great success with them lasting in, in the vase. Right, but very pretty. But They're very hardy, pretty, this ordinary one. soil. Ordinary soil. No feeding. Um, very little care and attention. A lot of them can be done from dividing. Some right. of them run quite strongly, so I mean they can take over an area, but you could, it's easy to dig them out. Um, one or two are difficult to propagate from division. They don't take kindly to being chopped up. Right. But generally speaking, they're very trouble-free and easy. And they're and pretty. They, they come. They're pretty. They come from the smallest sort of alpine ones to probably something about, well there is one Solostomum which is about four feet tall. Wow, okay. So they come in a range of colours, sizes and there are ones that will need plenty of sun and there are ones that will grow in deep shade. Well, I So there's a geranium for every situation really. I think there is definite space now mm -hmm. in the garden for this. It's delicate, it's pretty, it's a little bit of movement about it. And if anyone can fill me in on which particular variety oh, this yeah. is, I'd be delighted to know. Absolutely. So send so it in to us on the forum or by you know, gardenville.tv. Email us Email or us, yeah, yeah. blog us. With this. We'd love to hear from you, definitely.